no, Class no, Nine no. Joe Budden got into it over the Killer Mike thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Play this one. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah, sorry. So Joe pretty much said oh, that, yeah. that Akasa not any streamers, um, their time. opinion don't mean shit, and he's sick and tired of them Somebody thinking they run this hip hop shit. Yep. Uh, and he told them to shut the fuck up. So he could have came at to me a better way. What we have here is a case of. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Is he could have came at it to me like, for example, right? Um, there's a way to to like. There's like an art to kicking a nigga back in and hating a little bit without coming off as like, right? Like, for example, right? I don't think Joe's good at that art. Yeah, right. Again, like, <laughs> I've gotten my, I've gotten hated on mm. in a way that's so smooth that, yo, you feel if me? If you respond, you'll look crazy. No, like, yeah, right? Like, you know, like, you know, like, again, it's hate, but I respect the art form and it's cool, right? Feel me, mm. right? Right? Yeah. So, Joe could have done it that way. He did it the Joe way. But but Joe chose to be hostile and burn bridges completely because things that said now back and forth, there's no coming back from. He's the old angry nigga. That's just Joe's role. That's just again, Everyday Struggle, my favorite podcast of all time. Mm -hmm. That was his role. Four days a week, Joe sat across from academics and hated on young niggas. Hated on the Yachtis That's and the SoundCloud do. rappers. Yeah. Disrespected their music. Said it was all trash. He didn't like it, yeah. but wouldn't even give it a chance, really listen to it. Which made him yeah. relevant anyway. Of True. the new school, so I think yeah. that is his take anyway. I think he knows that if he if he mm. dissed the younger generation and shit, they're gonna respond, and gonna I think it. that yeah. gives him headlines and shit like that. So Man, I think Joe knows what he's it. doing. He knew what he was doing. He said the moment that Killer Mike won, we need to all rile behind this. Mm. Like he knew what he's doing. Like, but again, I'm not mad at that I'm not either. And it. I I I agree. Like I feel like I watch Joe Button podcasts all the time. I feel like that podcast should only cover the older, grown and sexy topics, grown and sexy albums. So if, if Uzi drop an album, I don't want to hear the Joe Button podcast with you on that. Yeah, but I if Nas drop an album, I'm turning on the Joe Button podcast to hear what they got to say about the new Nas. I album. agree with that. You got what I'm saying? Y'all shouldn't even give that should takes be y'all niche. Niggas. That's y'all lane. I feel like y'all would thrive in that. And so I'm with Joe saying we got to rally behind the Killer Mike album. Yeah, all the OG niggas, older niggas, excuse me. With the older platforms, they definitely should rally behind that. And then the streamers are going to be like, yeah, uh, Travis Scott shouldn't have won the Grammy. Yeah. I feel like everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. We don't have to hate on one another. You rooting for who you rooting for, and I'm rooting for who I'm rooting for. I yeah. agree. Not oh, a oh, no, 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 right? And Joe wasn't even hating because I understood what Joe was saying, right? Mm -hmm. Joe like was like, yo, listen, like y'all are acting like it's only what y'all say matters. So, right, so look, so like Joe's pretty much saying, Aha, you new niggas lost, right? So I can understand him saying, yeah. I'm happy the old shit finally won. Because he said, I'm happy that finally, like, the old niggas finally won you something. Got one, you got something. So, right, right. So, like, he wasn't hating. So I can understand, like, I understood that Joe Budden was trying to articulate, I'm just happy the old niggas finally won. But he just framed yeah, he it up when he in a combative the, way. He with the fuck out of here and yeah. all of that. With the, the disrespect. Y'all yeah. need to shut the fuck up. The disrespect. This, and you know what I'm saying? But like, but that's hate. No, but like, that's just Joe and how Joe speaks, though, right? Like, right? He speaks, like, he talks friends, he speaks but, hatefully. Yeah, yeah he speaks well, hatefully. He, <laughs> but, but like, listen, bro, for example, right? Like, I've heard, like, I've heard Joe tell, like, Queen's Flip, fuck out of here, nigga. Right? So, like, Nah, but not like that. Like he was more so saying like like y'all voice don't matter. I, I think yeah. that's where he fucked up at. Like saying like y'all y'all streaming niggas' opinion don't matter. Only matter on the internet. Yeah, like I you think can't he was trying that. to imply that they shit only matter on the internet. Grammys is real life. He like we in here with suits on. We yeah, at the table. This is like, real life. He's trying to make up. a distinction. Y'all be in there uh, arguing drunk. drunk. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Trying to make Wait a distinction. Wait the short though, right? Yeah. Wait though. They shit seem like it's better than all y'all young niggas' voice. When it's just their version of he was right as far as the rubbing in your face. We 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 rowling behind the old nigga shit. We won. Ha ha. That's cool. But the moment you start hitting niggas with the y'all y'all niggas voices don't matter. I think he was bugging. No, right, but like here. So like I see both sides, but I, I also say though, too. right? Right? That, for example, they're now acting though, like this, like the, you know, like Kai and Aiden and others, they're now acting though that their opinion now is above reports. Meaning they now have an issue with people combating them saying he shouldn't have won, right? Mm. So Kai's like, listen, man, like, it's my opinion. I said my opinion. Yes, you can, but it's hip hop, right? And there's gonna be people who don't like your opinion and they're gonna combat it. So yeah. now they're saying now, though, that their opinion should be 
above reproach and that I don't agree with. Meaning there, yeah. right? Like there should always be like a. Uh, and um, then Ebro old ass, my yeah, bad. Say, what, what's Ebro? Ebro say? old ass chimed in and gonna say streamers, y'all need to stay in y'all place. Like, mm. bro, shut your old ass up. You've been out of date with your takes for fucking years. You yeah, said that yeah. shit with Uzi, and then the nigga's still here thriving. Yeah, you the, the you are like the grandfather. I've of seen him. Nigga. I've seen him violate Eve. One of the most disrespectful interviews of all time. You know she got that sex tape with Stevie J. Mm -hmm. Which if you interviewing somebody, even if you are to bring it up, which is like kind of low hanging fruit, especially you dealing with a woman. Yeah, this taste. That's married. Uh, you want to bring up her past or whatever, cool. But then you keep bringing it up, and he starts talking about with them dildos shoved up you and shit. It's a whole clip. It's a viral clip. Eve mm. went up to Hot 97. Ebro like kept talking about her sex. Like, she's like, nigga, stop playing with me. Like, are you for real right now? Yeah, like so he's Eve not some, no yeah. buster ass bitch either. <laughs> exactly. So, mm. uh, and Ebro's transition as well from just doing uh, morning radio shows to doing the Apple Music thing as well, he's a right? Ass nigga. Yeah, so, he's working at yeah Apple. He's Music working right at now. Apple now, doing different type of content. Apple Radio. I do know they do Rap Life Review, which I watch all the time. Him, Eddie, and uh, Low Key and Adeska. Yeah. So you do different forms of media. So how you hating or telling streamers to stay in their place? Nobody told you to just stay at a radio station. I think a lot of these hip hop media personalities are getting jealous because if you if you paying attention they to the landscape, the water. they're getting knocked out the water. The I, landscape is changing. At one point, and no, this is no knock to act, but at one point. All these streamers would go fuck with academics. Now they're like, all right, fuck it. We finna just go fuck with Kai and Aiden Ross. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like even academics is like losing out on the big name guests that he would usually get because they're like, all right, why well, go to act? When I go to fucking it's like Aiden from, Ross or true. it's but, like from you could say, um, um, when you used to have to go to the store and get your DVDs and then Netflix came. Uh -huh. It's like the same as far as when they stopped, stopped doing nigga record sales. You don't got to go to Amoeba no more. You just pull your phone out. Technology. Like, for me, shit is changing, nigga. Evolution. This is another landscape that's changing. But it's still enough people and enough fans for everybody and nobody only watches one thing. So that's just like I don't just watch Joe Budden podcast, I can watch another podcast. Just because I watch Kai and I scream, unless Aiden Ross scream is on at the same time, mm -hmm. I can watch both. I can go yeah. watch both streams. Some people I, are um, religious. And like, I can watch a stream like this and I can still go watch a Joe Budden podcast or Ebro sure. in the morning or it's some just make your content like that, interesting. Though. You don't have to but try to compete with another platform. Some people not like that though. Like they're yeah. religious. Like I'm only gonna watch eight and I'm only gonna watch Kai. Some people are like real loyal and weird like that. You that know, doesn't make sure. any sense. You only watch one some people do. thing a week. The only thing with the some live stream and shit, I feel like like niggas and then I this is not even a diss to Kate. I mean, I said Kyle or Aiden. I, I slick just met Kyle for the first time. Real cool nigga and shit, humble. Mm -hmm. But uh, like sometimes them niggas don't even fuck with niggas like as much as they usually like. It's more so about just the look. Okay. Like Aiden might not even fuck with your music and shit like that, but he know if I get you on my stream, yeah. it's gonna go up and do views right. and numbers and shit. They're, so I feel like they do need to go back to like the, some traditional journalists and the people who's gonna nah, respect nah. you. Now we sound like Elliot Wilson with the yeah. hip hop journalism question mark thing. Nah, like I feel like I like even with the uh, Twenty One yeah. Savage or uh, Playboy Cardi shit. What like they so quick about? to hop on yeah. Aiden shit and not go to academics, but a nigga who's been covering y'all. For years, sure. and y'all just gonna go fuck with them just because y'all gonna get numbers off the shit. They don't thing. know your music. When you drop a project, you don't just promote it for one day. I don't just have one press day. I have a week or two weeks or three weeks of press to do, right? So if I want to go see Kai Sinan on Monday, Aiden Ross on Tuesday, then I'm at No Jumper on Wednesday and Joe Budden Podcast on Thursday, and I sit down with Elliot Wilson Pando on Friday, Mordo. and I sit down with Elliot Wilson on Friday. Well, back in my day, that's how you did a press yeah. run. Pando back Mordo, in my day, you me. did a press run. You did a, you did two or three interviews a day. It wasn't just you do one interview, and then yeah. you can't do interviews on no other platform. Niggas do, listen, right? So right now, like the A-list So why is there so interview? much competition but over these artists' interviews when you can was, do different platforms? That was back in the day when... It was regional when you couldn't pull your phone out. Radio wasn't always national. You in this area, you gonna hear this radio. In this area, you gonna hear this radio. So you can do four interviews in a day, and everybody not gonna hear the same questions because they can't even hear the other radio unless they got satellite. Uh -huh. Now you got your phone. If you do four interviews in a day, you're about to ask me the same thing four times, and everybody's That's part gonna of the be job. able to see it. No, so you it's hold your interviews better and be like, I'm just gonna go to this one because everybody's gonna ask you the same thing. The same so thing go up. to the one that's more popular. That's not the same no more because back then, nigga, radio was real regional. A lot of this shit was regional. New York had them New York niggas, mm -hmm. LA had they LA shit, Miami had they Miami shit, and you, I don't even know the New York channels. I don't even know the Florida ones. You know, yeah. you that's in LA. one way of looking you know at saying? it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go at it. 
That that, one that's just I, I agree with Suspect on that. Then. So she you just more, do one. You rather just do one. Internet you now. drop an album. You rather just do one live yeah. stream with one person versus doing a week of live streams and press and interviews to promote your album. I felt like back in the day you actually had to fight to get the exposure because like they had BT, like it was yeah, just TV. To to so you had region. to go yeah. get yeah. the exposure. Was you was fighting for that. Yeah. Now you're like you the fans it. can send you a DM and you can respond. You got access to them, so you gotta you gotta kind of have to keep some of your mystique. So you don't want to burn out because mm -hmm. each interview going to be on YouTube. So it's mm -hmm. like, it's all on one little area. So it's like back in the day, not everybody's watching 106 in Park right. and then watching rap. Some uh, people just you know what I'm went saying? to Hip Hop DX. Some people just went to Media Takeout. Some people, yeah. you feel me? Some people just yeah. went to This Is Fiction. So, so I would, as an artist, I would want to be on all of those things. That's uh, so what I'm saying. Back then, now you don't have to because we're going to do just one interview. one viral interview. Yeah, yeah and everybody yeah, going to yeah, the same yeah, questions yeah. going to get asked. Let's put it like this. If Cat Williams... the same shit? If Cat Williams go do another interview right now, it's going to take away from what he just did with yeah, Club Shay Shay. We're not so watching like, that shit. We're yeah. going to watch you ask the same questions eight times. Right. You know what Everybody's time? going for a Cat Williams type interview. Ah. No, but I just... Do, right, yeah. You get what I'm saying? No one's talking about it, you see? Because I'm not talking about... I didn't say anything about going... Because what the fuck did Cat Williams promote in his interview? He just went up there to talk shit. So if I'm just going up somewhere to talk shit and bash people, of course I, you only need to do that once. I don't want to see you do that every day. But if I have an album to talk about... If I made an album... On eight interviews... He promoted his tour. So yeah. If I made See a, niggas uh, pr pr promote eight songs, uh -huh. I mean one song on eight interviews is going to irritate the I fuck out of me. I would go to every platform and talk about my album if I was an artist. I feel like you had to that do that in 2005 though. because the niggas didn't have phones yeah. to be able to access all one your shit. One interview is, easy, is just you know? not to me. It's just right. not enough unless some crazy happened. But what if you do that one? Maybe not one. What if you do that one interview, and, nothing, one. One I, that one interview and nothing crazy happened and nothing just go hell of viral? That's drastic. A, I'm not saying one. That's uh, drastic. But uh, every single one, I don't. Not think every you request, but you I don't go think to you one. Should. 